Many viewers may not realize that I'm the one who actually physically goes and gets the plants, picks them out, inspects them. I want to know exactly what we're getting on the job, what size it is, what health and shape it's in. Roger Cook was the man to learn from if you wanted to know anything about plants and landscaping. For decades, he shared his wealth of knowledge through his catchy sayings and hands-on approach. Roger always encouraged people to get their hands dirty to truly understand the art and science of landscaping. Even after his passing, people are returning to his videos to appreciate just how great of an educator he truly was, remembering his wisdom and passion that inspired so many. So, how exactly did a young boy from Maine become one of the most recognized landscape contractors? Join us as we tell you what you didn't know about Roger Cook from this old house. Roger A. Cook was born in 1954 in Biddeford, Maine to Lucienne and Arthur Cook Jr. Growing up in a small New England town, Roger developed a deep appreciation for the outdoors early on. His family later moved to Burlington, Massachusetts. Roger was an active student, excelling in both academics and sports, particularly on the basketball and football teams. It was during these formative years that he first discovered his passion for landscaping. During summers and after school, Roger worked part-time jobs in landscaping, honing his skills and knowledge about plants, gardening, and outdoor design. This early experience laid the foundation for his future career. Roger's love for the natural world led him to pursue a degree in wildlife management and conservation law from the University of Maine, where he graduated in 1977. His education not only deepened his understanding of environmental stewardship, but also reinforced his commitment to creating beautiful, sustainable landscapes. Those who knew Roger could vouch for how much he loved his wife. Roger and Kathy were true lifelong companions. Roger Cook met Kathleen Kathy E. Guide in high school. They both attended Burlington High School, where they became acquaintances through mutual friends and shared community activities. However, their romantic relationship didn't begin until after graduation. Roger and Kathy reconnected at a local community event a few years later, where they found themselves conversing for hours about their shared interests and dreams. Kathy was captivated by Roger's passion for the outdoors and his ambitious plans to start his own landscaping business. Roger, in turn, admired Kathy's intelligence, kindness, and a practical approach to life. As they spent more time together, their friendship deepened into a meaningful romance. They discovered they had a lot in common, including a strong sense of family, a love for nature, and a desire to build something meaningful together. Their relationship quickly blossomed, and they soon became inseparable. They married shortly after Roger graduated from the university, and Kathy was instrumental in helping Roger lay the groundwork for what would become their life's work. Her business acumen and organizational skills perfectly complemented Roger's hands-on expertise and passion for landscaping, setting the stage for a lifelong partnership both personally and professionally. In 1982, Roger and Kathy Cook decided to turn their shared passion for landscaping into a business. They founded K&R Tree and Landscape Company, named after their initials, with a singular jeep pulling a trailer full of lawn care equipment. They worked out of their home in Massachusetts, tirelessly putting in long hours to build their reputation from the ground up. Roger focused on the physical aspect of the business, bringing his extensive knowledge of plant and landscaping to each project, while Kathy managed the administrative size, ensuring smooth operations and handling customer relations. Together, they grew a business steadily, expanding their services from simple lawn care to comprehensive landscape construction that included both plants and hardscape elements like stone walls and patios. Their hard work and dedication quickly paid off as their business became known for its quality work and attention to detail. Roger's break into television came quite unexpectedly. While working as the landscape foreman for the Frost & Higgins Company, he was recommended to the producers of This Old House by landscape architect Tom Worth. Roger first appeared in the show in 1982, contributing his expertise to various projects. His practical advice and deep knowledge of landscaping caught the attention of both the producers and the audience. By 1988, Roger had become a regular fixture on This Old House, joining as the show's garden and landscape contractor during the Lexington Bed and Breakfast renovation. This new role allowed Roger to reach a wider audience, sharing his landscaping knowledge with viewers across the country. His involvement with This Old House not only boosted the visibility of K&R Landscape, but also established Roger as a trusted name in the landscaping industry.
Roger's presence in this old house was characterized by his genuine warmth, approachable demeanor, and passion for his craft, which resonated with viewers. He quickly became known for his effective teaching style, breaking down complex landscaping concepts into easy-to-understand steps that encouraged homeowners to tackle their own outdoor projects. During his time on this old house, Roger Cook was known for his practical advice and memorable phrases that helped homeowners enhance their properties. To kick off a project, he would often say, There comes a time on every job where we stop talking and we start working. You ready? His expertise in landscaping was matched by his knack for simple yet effective guidance like advising. Plant it high, it won't die. Plant it low, it won't grow. When discussing the best way to plant a tree. For those planning to install a brick pathway, he would remind them, A walk is only as good as the base. Roger remained a valuable member of the show until 2020, when health issues prompted his retirement. Roger's hands-on approach and willingness to get his hands dirty, literally, endeared him to both his co-stars and the audience. He was often seen on the show, digging, planting, and guiding viewers through every aspect of creating and maintaining beautiful, sustainable gardens. In December 2010, Roger faced a profound personal loss when his beloved wife Kathy passed away after a battle with cancer. Kathy's death was a devastating blow to Roger, as she was not only his life partner, but also his steadfast business partner. Kathy had been an integral part of the business, managing its operations and ensuring its success alongside Roger. Her passing left a void in Roger's life. Despite immense grief, Roger continued to push forward, drawing strength from the memories of the life he and Kathy had built together and the legacy they had created through their family and business. On this old house, Roger's colleagues and fans noticed his subdued demeanor following Kathy's death, yet he remained committed to his work and his role on the show. He found solace in the familiar routine of landscaping and in the support of his friends, family, and the show's community. In 2018, Roger shared a letter in which he told fans about his declining health, due to which his appearance on the show won't be as regular. Then, in 2020, Roger publicly announced his retirement from this old house due to ongoing health issues that had been affecting him for several years. Roger had been battling a prolonged illness, which he later revealed to be a combination of heart problems and other health complications. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest with you, I've been better. We've got some medical issues going around that I'm trying to take care of. Yeah. Yeah. Stay healthy. His condition gradually worsened, making it increasingly difficult for him to continue his physically demanding role on the show. Despite his declining health, Roger remained optimistic and grateful for the encouraging messages. His retirement marked the end of an era for this old house, where he had become a beloved figure over nearly four decades. Sadly, on the 21st of August 2024, the fans of the show got the heartbreaking news of Roger passing away at the age of 70. His death was a significant loss to both the This Old House community and the broader landscaping world, where he had made a lasting impact. Since his passing, Roger's colleagues have been mourning his loss and paying tribute to the incredible impact he made on their lives. Chris Wolfe, the executive producer of This Old House, spoke about how he remembers every lesson from Roger, emphasizing that countless people have been enriched by Roger's teachings. Norm Abram, the master carpenter for the show, fondly recalled Roger's kindness, his extensive knowledge about everything from lawns to stone walls, and his expertise as a true arborist. Richard Trethaway, the plumbing and heating expert, remembered Roger as a gentle giant, always competent, quiet, and ready to help everyone. The show's host, Kevin O'Connor, expressed that the team lost a brother who was big-hearted, generous, and full of life, noting how much he will miss Roger's smile and friendship. While Roger may be gone, his legacy lives on through the countless lives he touched with his warmth, expertise, and passion for landscaping. He's remembered not only for his contributions to this old house, but also for the kindness, humility, and strength he showed throughout his life and career.